Pullman may be able to drive down Grand Avenue again, but that doesn't mean the effects of the flooding have ended. Businesses and residents are still cleaning up the mess and likely will be for some time. Our Drew Reeves continues our coverage of this flood emergency. He's in Pullman tonight with the latest details. Drew. Yeah, Aaron, things are starting to look fairly normal out here, but all along Grand Avenue, you can still see debris like this, and water is still moving very quickly out here. Now the city is trying to determine just how much damage was actually done. I'm really happy we have sunshine today. It's a beautiful day in Pullman. Much different from the one locals experienced last night. In a matter of minutes yesterday, water rushed into the streets of Pullman, flooding businesses along Grand Avenue. It's muddy water. It's like all like covered the place. The, um, what you see here, the low here, all been covered. And it took just minutes. There's definitely a lot of stuff under here. But... Kylie Gehring and her friend parked near the water and walked across the street. Next thing they knew, emergency crews were on the way. Probably five, ten minutes later, we tried to go out the back, but we couldn't open either door because the water was so high. And then we had to we had to be emergency rescued by the fire department. They came over and broke the window and we crawled out and kind of walked up that hill over there. And business owners had to watch as those waters rushed by and into their buildings, not knowing what would be left for them to find. There's not much I can do to stop it. So I, when it happened, I'm, I'm, a, I'm scared and I'm afraid of what's going to happen to the, the business, to the people, to even everything, you know. Now they're left cleaning up the aftermath. Meanwhile, the county is working on an emergency declaration for funding. You got plenty of time to get these emergency declarations done to take care of all that. So that'll be done on Monday. Uh, we'll be covered from that standpoint too. And business owners just hope this doesn't happen again with more showers on the way. That's my concern. The, the rain's not going to stop, you know, and it might get worse later in the week. And that next round of showers is here. Some people told me that when they got those flood warnings on their phone, they didn't believe that Pullman could actually flood. But others told me that they were here in 1996 and know what this river is capable of. In Pullman, Drew Reeves, KXLY4 News.